So as president, how would you use your executive power to streamline the process for those who have been in prison far too long and did not deserve to be there in the first place? Well, I think the president made an important step forward. And by the way, the president also did something of great symbolic importance when he visited a federal penitentiary in Oklahoma. Right. So I think what we have to do is to take a hard look case by case of those people who have been arrested and sentenced. And if we believe injustice was done, if we believe the sentence is too long, we have got to find as soon as we can, cutting through the red tape, getting those people out of jail, which raises, by the way, a broader issue. And that is the very high rate of recidivism that we have in this country. People get out of jail, and in large numbers, they go back to jail. We did a, I did a conference, uh, Nina Turner was with me in Iowa, Nina, remember? And we talked to two guys who had spent time in jail. This is what the guy said. He said, I was told the day before I was released that I was gonna get out. On the day I was released, they gave me a check for $75 and they said, good luck to you. Well, guess what, he ended up back in jail. So what we need to do is when people get out of jail, and by the way, we have to rethink the parole system. If people are behaving well in jail, they deserve shorter sentences. But most importantly, when people get out, they have got to have the job training and the education they need so they don't go back into the same environment that got them into jail in the first place.